Hello and welcome back to Kids Coding Playground. Uh, today we're looking at a game called Ninja Platformer. I know this kind of game is really popular among kids uh, who's coding in Scratch. So I thought I'd give it a try and um, try to make one myself and teach you guys along the way. Um, so this is a simple game um, where we uh, have a ninja. You have control of the ninja, kind of jump across. You can kill the Medusa and get to the box. You can get the gym. After you get the gym from the box, then the portal open up. You can go into the portal and it will go to the ne next stage. So I'm trying to make it uh, really simple. Uh, only two stages. But as you can see, this is just a concept of making a platformer game. Uh, you can kind of expand on that and make it even better. Uh, just a disclaimer, uh, this game still have a little bug uh, because of the um, the green uh, green platform here and this ninja here. Sometimes the ninja gets stuck in between the the this uh, rocks here and the green platform because uh, when we when we do the code that checks the ninja touching the green platform, uh, sometimes you know his head is on top of this and it will still get get stuck there. So that's a little problem we had with the game. I mean, uh, maybe later I can uh, do a, a hitbox on the feet of the ninja only and making the ninja follow the hitbox and the player control the small box. So that way maybe it may be better, but I think that will require a lot more work. And, um, you know, um, so let me just continue this uh, with this uh, game and just kind of teach you guys the basic concept of uh, platformer and how we can get started. Okay, uh, so this tutorial, we're going to learn about these following concept, uh, custom block, how to use custom block, uh, custom sprite, how to make custom sprite, how to use them, and how to link between the sprite to the main sprite where the player is controlling, and how to use variable uh, controlling the game, how to do loops, touching sprite, broadcasting, and other stuff. So uh, this game is really uh, for events, uh, 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 kids who has a good understanding of Scratch and how it works. Uh, if you don't have that, I would not recommend uh, working on this game. So it will be really difficult and you will not be able to follow along. Um, so let's get started. Let me demo the game for you guys. Uh, okay, I'm ready here. Um, okay, let me uh, start here. So if you can see I'm um, the ninja, I can move back and forth. I can use uh, one uh, number one to attack, number two to throw the uh, little knife, number three I can glide down uh, when I jump up. Uh, so jump is uh, up, left and right, and uh, you can jump up and you can shoot the uh, little knife across and hit the Medusa. Okay, so I am had to hit her five times, so I jump across, I come down, I got the gym, so it opens up the portal. I can go into the portal. Once I go into the portal, it goes to level two. This is the timer here, kind of keep track of how long you are doing the stage uh, when you complete the game. Uh, so this is a multiple jump. You can also use WSASD as well. Uh, but I think I would like I like to use the arrow key here. So I jump across. Okay, I can uh, attack the Medusa from here, or I can come down and attack her. Uh, let me try that. Okay, let's see. Okay, wait until she comes back. So you can kind of kill the Medusa. Jump up. Jump up. Okay, we have the box. We got the gym. Now the portal comes down. So uh, you can also fly down like this with the glide. So we were just trying it. So the Medusa is still there. I trying to try to attack her. Once I kill her, I can go into the portal and then I will win the game. So this is kind of how the game runs. Um, so this is the basic demo of the game. As you can see, uh, you can make it a little bit more complicated. And if you drop into the water, you'll die. I did not show that. But uh, or if you hit by Medusa, you also die. So let me just show you. So if I drop in the water, I came back to the uh, starting spot. And if I get hit by the Medusa, as you can see, I kind of lay down for a second and then I die. The animation laying down, right? Okay, all right. Uh, let's 
stop this game, we will start to work on it. Uh, before we start the game, please uh, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. That will be really great. That means a lot to us. And uh, give us a thumbs up on the video and uh, comment down below what you'd like to see next. Uh, so this is the first uh, Ninja Platformer game, uh, part one. Uh, we will have more coming. Uh, but this is the first one, so I will show you the basic of how it, uh, how we work with the uh, Ninja Platform again, how, how we get started. Okay, all right. So what you need to do, uh, we'll start a new project. Uh, you have to download your sprite. Okay, so the nin uh, there's a couple of places that you can download this. I'll put it in the link below later. Uh, what you can do is uh, go to here, uh, you can search up like the portal I had, right? So you can search up this uh, so Sprite 2D portal. Okay, uh, you can type in like in Google, just search for image like Sprite 2D portal or something. You can see something like this. You can just say right click and save it. Once you save it, uh, this guy gives a GIF file. When you have a GIF file, you can actually load it or PNG or whatever. So this guy is really good. It has transparent Sprite P uh, portal GIF. When you load into into a scratch, it will create different custom for you. I'll show you later. Um, also, you can type in um, another search. Let's say Sprite two D. You can see like these kind of sprite. So this is the ninja one I use. Uh, it is from uh, either one of these sites. I think the uh, like you can go to, like the free two D uh, asset site here or this one. Uh, anyway, I'll put down the uh, link below. Um, so this one, this this site give you some uh, some game asset you can download. Like this one is free. Some of them you have to buy. So you can download these and you can work with them if you like. You know, like see, you can see there's a lot of different kind you can use. Uh, the one that I was using is this site. So uh, what you can do is go to here. Uh, this site called Game Art to the freebie HTML. I'll put the link below and you can download this sprite. So uh, what I did was just click on this. You, if you like the girl, you can click on the girl, click on this and then say free download. After you download, it give you a zip file. You can see that Ninja Adventure uh, new, uh, new that zip down in the left corner, right? Right here in the corner here when I hover my mouse. So once you download that, you can uh, zip it, unzip it out and then you can load them up. Okay, so this is the uh, Ninja. Also, you can download the uh, the platform. So this is the tile, you need tile set. So this is the one that I downloaded uh, earlier, the tile set uh, for my game. As you can see, you can download this one, the desert and something else. Uh, these are free. I know you can probably buy them, you know, like uh, if you want, you can sign up and buy a better one. Um, so for us, um, we just try to use some free one just to uh, just to play around with it. Okay, all right. Once you have downloaded all that, you have to zip uh, unzip it out. Okay, so once you unzip it, you get something like this, right? The adventure uh, ninja new. This is the uh, the boy version. As you can see, you have different attack, right? Different um, motion. You have a uh, climbing also. Uh, we didn't do. You have death. That's the one that we use. Uh, we have the attack. We use that. We have the glide that he's flying down, and you have the idol. That means he's standing there. I mean, you can use him. His head's kind of move around. I think we only use one of them. Uh, then you have this jump. You have attack, jump, attack, throw, slide. You know, you have all different kind of thing that you could use with this ninja. Um, so this is for the ninja. So once you get the other one, um, the uh, other one is the, uh, let's say, um, I think it's the, this one, tile set, yeah. So tile set here, so this is the background, it's called the PNG, you can see background, background is the, uh, this, um, like a tree or something like that, that's what we're using, and then you can go to object, Object have like tree, the box, the rock, the stone, the sign, right? And you can go to the tile. This is like how you kind of put them together, the water. So this is the one that we were using. Okay, 
So, so let's go back to our game. Okay, so let's say you have your cat, you can delete this cat. You say you can say paint new sprite. Uh, what you can do is um, you can say upload here and you go to your custom for the ninja go to png you can see this ninja here uh, so for ninja we need different one uh, what we can do is um, we can use the death i think the death one that one is dying we'll import all of them these guy so this one will give us all the ninja that died right and let's upload more to this custom uh, you can upload them all but i think you don't need them all and it will be very confusing uh you can just take one of the idol let's say with idol number five uh we can say we add that guy in and we need some more uh we need the uh, we won't need the attack yet we'll use that later uh we can use the jump i think the jump we can use for this sprite and to the jump this is jump throw so you have to be careful see which one it is uh the run we also need let's get the run first so run to run nine you see run zero to one run nine okay we got them all okay and we upload some more let's look for the run so which one is run let's see run or run we got we got we need we need jump, right? Jump. Oh, here it is. Jump. Okay, we will need jump zero to jump nine. Okay. All right. So this is the basic thing that we have for our ninja. We have uh, the uh, the one he he dying, right? The one that he has the uh, running, and the one he is jumping. Right. And then there's one for idol. I think somewhere. Let's move them up. I think the idol one will start with that guy. Okay, where's idol? Run, 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 run. Okay, here it is. Okay, let's move them up. Okay. All the way up. Will be our first costume. Okay, so we'll use this guy as our first costume for the ninja uh, what you can do is you can like rename them if you want a shorter name like I will call it i5 or something and these guy you can rename it to like d0 d1 and so on and so forth so you can just do more real quick here we'll do more Okay, as you can see, uh, I'm done with uh, all the naming. Um, so let's go back up. You can see I5 is a uh, idol 5, D0 to D9, I believe. That's when it's dying. You have a R0 to uh, R9, that's running. And then J0 to J9, which is jumping. Uh, so this is our main sprite. Uh, we'll name it Ninja. Okay, all right, we have our ninja. Uh, what we can do is uh, we're gonna set his size to 25. So this is our ninja, a uh, little bit small. So this is what we are going to do. Um, also, we need to uh, set up like the uh, platform, uh, the background, same thing. Uh, background, you can just go to upload the background and you can go back to the uh, where you download it. Um, the tile go to uh, png background and you can select your background so once you select your background okay you have your background here right then you can put in like other stuff uh you know the uh the the platform which will create a sprite okay all right
So for the pl platform, uh, what you can do is you can create paint as a sprite and then you can uh, just um, upload the costume, same thing, go back out, uh, find this tile and then kind of upload more if you want uh, or you can do it one by one. Let's just say we upload them all. Let's say we upload all this, not the water, water will be a separate sprite. Um, let's, okay, so we upload more. As you can see, these are different ones. What you can do is uh, you can um, uh, convert it to vector. Like let's say I want to use this one, the convert to vector, select this thing. You can select him now. Uh, let's say I want to uh, kind of change it, right? I don't need this one, I'll trash this. So um, also this one, I want to use this one, convert to vector, select him. And you can kind of build them uh, next, like, like let's say this is your platform, right? So you can make it kind of go up and down, make sure they are all lined up nicely. Okay, so as you can see, right, I can build this out, I'll convert to vector again, select him, and you can build them out. Uh, so, and so as you can see, this is my one of my platform, right? Um, so you see a little gap here in here, so you can fix that, just move this. So you can see, so you have a platform, something like this, right? And you can adjust the size, making it smaller or larger. So let's say I want to put this over here, you know, right? So it will be somewhere here. And then you can fill up the bottom with water. And you can also add, like, let's say this one. I want to add some longer one in the bottom. Then I went to convert to vector, take this, go back to my first one, put this here, kind of resize it also. And you can add it here. So as you can see, I almost done with my first block, right? Then you have to get this one in the middle, convert to vector, copy that, and you can move them here. And you make them smaller a little bit. As you can see, just trying to, it takes some time to get it all in. Mm -hmm. um, so, Let's see. Okay. And we can get the last piece on here. Convect to vector. Copy this. Go back. Move, make this smaller. Kind of fit to this. Right. So you can use up an arrow key. As you can see, this is my first block. Okay. So that's how you make the platform, right? So uh, in order to make the uh, video shorter, uh, what I'm uh, going to do is uh, upload my platform that I already have uh, with the game I made earlier. But uh, for you guys, you know, uh, if you're doing it for the first time, just trying to go through and try to create any kind of level platform you like. And once you're done, you can just drag this anywhere you want, right? Like maybe here or here, and then you can fill up the water. Okay. All right, um, for now, we'll stop here. Uh, we we'll don't want to make the video too long. And uh, next time, next lesson, we'll continue and uh, creating our platform for the uh, for the sprite uh, for the game. Okay, all right. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching.